Hello, this is Dr. Paul Cottrell, and I'm recording this on August 30th. We're going to be talking about the West Nile virus on this episode. Please make sure you subscribe to all my channels. I have four channels on YouTube. I have Bright on Bitchute and Rumble. Make sure you subscribe and click the link. Also follow me on X, Facebook, and Getter. All the links are in the description of this video. If you would like to help support my work, because I have thousands of videos for free, please help through donations. You can donate on my website, the-studio-reykjavik.com. Link is in the description of this video. Click that link. It'll take you to the website. On the homepage at the very bottom, you can donate through Stripe, PayPal, or buy me a coffee. You can also be a paid member to my Patreon channel, and that way you're helping support my work. We're getting videos out there for free for people to be informed about current events and how to improve their health. And on the higher tier levels for, for the membership at Patreon, you also get some access to my lectures on pulmonology and immunology. So there's a benefit of being a higher tiered member. I appreciate all the support that people do provide by sharing the links, by telling their social media followers to follow my work, by donating and by going to my store, the-studio-reykjavik.com and purchasing the products that I offer. I offer a lot of products. I offer anti-aging and longevity products. I have uh, a plethora of products that help to neutralize pathogens, help to bring down reactive oxygen species. I have a lot of antioxidants that I offer. I also offer uh, supplements that bring down inflammation, to help boost up your immune system, to help build muscle, to help to detoxify your body. So I, I have a lot of different products, all right? And we'll go through some of these. And it's getting to the point where I have so many products that I can't do everything in a video anymore. So I'm just going to kind of just focus it and, it, you know, show some of the new products and also how to stack it because the key is, is stacking. I also have curated boxes called anti-aging boxes that you can purchase and, um, and it's just a one click and you just purchase the, these, these uh, anti-aging boxes that have the ingredients that you need to get on your journey to improving your health and boosting up your immune system. Or you can purchase products that are individual items. So it's up to you and you can mix and match and, and build up your own box. So uh, based on your needs, because everyone has their own bio, biochemistry, everyone has different needs. So, you know, but I'm just giving you a lot out there to how to improve your health and what I do on a daily basis to maintain my health and longevity. With that said, we're going to go over the West Nile virus in this video and in subsequent videos, some of the other viruses that we need to worry about. They're doing spring in areas of the country, especially on the Eastern seaboard and in New York. I've heard they're spraying also in Florida and in Texas and in California. So there's, they're spraying all over now. What they're spraying is a, is a, um, uh, a chemical to, to, to kill off the mosquitoes because these viruses like Triple E and West Nile, they're coming from the mosquito. All right. So if you get bit by one, you may get West Nile or Triple E, right? But it's a rare chance. So it's a, it's a low probability event of getting West Nile or Triple E. But if you do get it, it can be very problematic especially if you get triple E. So it's what I call low probability, high impact. If you do get it, it's a big problem. The other issue that we have, which I think is more of a problem than the actual West Nile virus or triple E, is the chemicals that they're spraying will disrupt your endocrine system. It will disrupt your immune system. It will disrupt your, it will disrupt your neural system your nervous system, all right? So when you disrupt your endocrine system and your immune system, when you're going into the cold season, you're more susceptible to influenza. You're more susceptible to SARS-CoV-2. You're more susceptible to RSV. You're more susceptible to adenoviruses. 
you're more susceptible to bacterial infections or parasitic infections on top of a trashed immune system from the 2020 aftershock through the pathogen or through the inoculations and or. So it's really important to like pay attention. You need to make sure you detoxify from these chemicals that they're spraying in your environment and try to do natural repellents. Now, I don't know how to make a natural repellent. I'm sure you can Google it and you can just follow, you know, follow a way to, to create natural repellents for mosquitoes. Uh, so you don't use these chemicals that, that, you know, people are buying at the store. All right. So just the, the point here is, is that there are, there are two viruses that we need to worry about. All right. In terms of this, in terms of this um, mosquito. All right. That's West Nile and Eastern equine encephalitis. All right. Or triple E virus. These two viruses are, if you get it, it, it's a low probability of getting it. But if you get it, it's high impact, meaning you're going to have problems, especially if you get triple E. All right. Triple E is super dangerous. West Nile, you can be asymptomatic with West Nile 75% of the chance. If you get it, 75% of the cases are asymptomatic. 25% of the cases are symptomatic with fever. All right. The ones that are symptomatic, one out of 140 end up having neurological problems that could lead to death or per permanent paralysis. All right. So, it, so there's a, there's a, there's a cascade here. There, there's a, uh, there's a continuum. All right. Of severity. All right. Not so severe asymptomatic all the way to death. All right. But it's low probability West Nile, low probability triple E to contract it, all right? But if you contract it, it can be, especially with triple E, a very high impact problem for your health. Same thing with West Nile. It's low probability. It's actually a higher probability of contracting West Nile than triple E. But for it to be having some sort of real bad neurological problem, it's low probability. But it can happen. The bigger issue is a weakening of the endocrine system and the immune system because of the spraying and the overuse of these chemical repellents. So if you're going to be outside and you need to use a repellent, you use a natural one. The people, there, there are tons of stuff on the internet on how to make natural mosquito repellents. So just make it yourself. All right. In your municipality, if they're spraying, you need to stay away from that spraying and try not to breathe it in, all right? Try not to touch surfaces that they sprayed because touching it, can, you can absorb it into your skin and breathing it is gonna cause issues, all right? So it's important to detox this stuff out of your body, all right? And I'm gonna tell you how to do that. One way to detox the spraying is to use zeolite that's on my store, the-studio-regular.com. How zeolite works is it is a negatively charged molecule, and it's going to attach to positively charged molecules, like toxins, heavy metals, chemicals, all right? And it will bind to it, and then you will urinate it out in six to eight hours. So you just take a couple drops or a few drops underneath your tongue and you do that every day and you're detoxifying, you're detoxifying your body and you're getting those damn chemicals out of your body. This is another way to also uh, filter out these, these uh, forever chemicals like PFAS um, and PFAS, you know, there's different types. I'll do a video on it. Yeah, it's on my to-do list to, to, to explain all this stuff, but you can get forever chemicals out of your body using zeolite, all right? But you also have to get to the source. 
stop breathing in the chemical, stop touching the chemical, stop drinking the chemical, stop eating the chemical. So when it comes to forever chemicals, you have to start filtering your water. So a great way to do it is you boil the water first that binds, there's microscopic clays in, in water, in tap water. And by boiling it, you're gonna be able to, to, to bind the chemicals that are in your water, that are in the tap water, all right? And then you filter it, all right? Now that filtering process, I use a zero water five layer filtration system, all right? So you, you boil the water, let it cool, you filter it through the, the zero water filtration system. You can get that on Amazon or wherever. And you, um, you know, you drink your water that's filtered. You cook with the water that's filtered. All right. In addition, stop eating processed foods because that's going to have the, the forever chemicals in it and, the, and, and just bad chemicals that are and toxins that are in there. So stop eating processed foods. Try to stay away from packaging that is plastic because you have microplastics that are in, in these things. All right, so you wanna to try to get that, those out. There's even microplastics in water and by filtering it, you can get the microplastic, microplastics out. So it's really important to get to the source and stop it from getting into your body, either breathing it in, touching it, eating it, swallowing it because of, because it's in the water. But then you take things like zeolite to detoxify your, your body. You can do cleanses like, you know, colon cleanses and kidney cleanses and stuff like this to help purge this stuff out of your body. Diuretics, think, like just taking, just drinking tea, like, right, hot tea, um, you know, once in a while. Uh, maybe, you know, three times a week or whatever, that's going to be a diuretic and it's going to allow you to urinate and, and flush and flush out the stuff out of your system. There's lots of ways to detox your body. All right. Zeolite binds to these chemicals and you urinate it out. So it's important to take. Now, if you're on medication, you need to talk to your doctor before you take zeolite because it may soak up some of your medication because your medication might be positively charged when it's going through its metabolism. All right, so it's, it, if you're on medication, you need to talk to your doctor before you take zeolite. Um, but zeolite will detoxify your body. We're gonna get sprayed and it's really important to detoxify your body and to mitigate your risks because those chemicals that are spraying are gonna disrupt your endocrine system. They're gonna disrupt your exocrine system they're going to disrupt your nervous system and your immune system. And when you're going into the cold season, it, you're going to be more susceptible to some of these pathogens. So I suspect that there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be sick during the cold season. So with that said, it's really important. Once you get that irritation, all right, so you start detoxifying with the zeolite that's on my store. So go to the store, the-studio-reykjavik.com and get the zeolite. Detoxify your body, all right? Even if they're not spraying in your area, taking zeolite on a regular basis is going to help your body because you're getting rid of these forever chemicals that everybody's exposed to. Everybody's exposed to forever chemicals, all right? But there's ways to mitigate it and reduce your exposure and, and uh, detoxify it out of your body. So go to my store and get the zeolite. In addition, once you get an irritation in your throat from the spraying, or just the cold season and you just get that little irritation, if you're thinking that maybe you're contracted something, take the lozenges or drops that I have. I have two types of lozenges and three types of drops. The lozenges are bigger than the drops. I have it in my Nuka honey for the lozenges and I also have it in elderberry zinc. Both of them are a 21 count package. So get a couple bags of these for your household. In addition, I have three different flavors for the drops. The drops are a little smaller. It's kind of an old fashioned candy kind of style to it, but um, the, it's, uh, I have it in cherry in a hundred count, blueberry in a hundred count, and honey and lemon 
in a, in a hundred count. So please go to my store, the-studio-rakefit.com, get a couple bags for your household. The moment you start feeling that irritation because of the spraying or because of your, it's the cold season or whatever, or because it's the allergy season, doesn't matter. The moment you start feeling that irritation, you want to start using these. They'll neutralize a pathogen. It will create these, you're going to create these secretions and surround this irritant, and then you're just going to swallow it, right? By doing this, you are maintaining the mucosal barrier in your up in your upper oral cavity, right? Your your oral cavity and your, your esophagus, right? By doing this, by maintaining that mucosal barrier, you're going to lower the chances of contracting something because it's through a disrupted barrier of your epithelial lining where pathogens can get in or irritants can get in and cause some sort of problem with, you know, allergic reaction or, you know, you start to come down with a cold or whatever. All right. So it's really important. The moment you start feeling that irritation, take the drops or the lozenges It neutralizes pathogens and maintains that mucosal barrier. Really important. They're tasty. Right. So, but the, the, the whole point is to have a couple bags in your house. So the moment you need it, you have it. It's really important. So go to my store, the-studio-rakevic.com and detoxify your body, especially if you're spraying in your area with the zeolite. Now, if you're on medication, you need to talk to your doctor and tell them that you want to take zeolite and they can say yes or no because of the types of medication you're on. All right. So with that, with that said, let's go to this video. This is now in South Nevada. All right. This was 11 hours ago as of this recording talking about, um, oh, I'm sorry, that, this is, a, this is impacts. I wanted to do West Nile. I got the wrong screen up. Hold on. Hold on. I apologize. It's been a busy morning here. All right. West Nile. We're going to focus on West Nile in this video. All right, so this one is 11 hours ago, West Nile causing paralysis. Now, again, this is rare. Again, Tonight, it's, more it's important to, to realize this is rare. 25% of the people that do get West Nile are symptomatic. And of the ones that are symptomatic, my understanding is it's one out of every 140 actually get neurological manifestations, like paralysis, right? families in agony it's hard to see them like this in st louis john proctor's once healthy 18 year old son lies paralyzed on a ventilator at barnes jewish hospital after john says bb got west nile virus from a mosquito bite earlier this month how does that hit you that this wasn't all likely the doctors say a mosquito bite and here's where we are it's hard to fathom how such a small insignificant creature can take a perfectly 100% healthy human being and make it so that they can't even move or support their head and they can't regulate their body temperature and it's just causing havoc. On and this is the reason why it's so important to understand the dynamics of pathogens, bacterial, fungal, viral, parasitic, that these things can be extremely problematic if you don't have an immune system that can block it, right? Now, there could be different reasons why. It could be something new with that pathogen where you don't have any antibodies. It could be not a new pathogen, but you have a weakened immune system. But the point here is, is that pathogens can harm you, all right? especially if you don't have a good immune system, right? And our immune systems have been trashed from 2020. The 2020 crisis trashed almost everybody's immune system. Now, some people's immune systems are healing faster and getting more closer to baseline than others. Some people have a suppressed immune system now. Some people have an overproductive immune system called autoimmune disease. So there's a plethora of different manifestations, but our immune systems have been affected from the 2020 crisis, all right? And keep that in mind, on top of the nefarious things that can be developed in the laboratory. It's not, 
you know, this shouldn't be a surprise to anybody and how dangerous this is. I mean, even, even Hollywood was making videos years ago about how dangerous stuff like this could happen. Right. And they dramatize it like hot zones and all this stuff, talking about Ebola and all this stuff. All right. You look at historical context about smallpox in the 1800s, the 1700s, the 1600s, the 1400s, the 1200s. All right. You look at these 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 outbreaks like bubonic plague or smallpox or cholera or typhus. Right. Or tuberculosis. These things changed world events. Now, if you don't believe me, go look at the history. They changed world trajectory. That the world history changed because of these things. All right. Why do you think that there were so many? You think slavery happened in in the South because of people were were black? It had nothing to do with that. It was because it was because they had cells that sickle. The red red cells. Many blacks have sickle sickle cell anemia. All right, their genetics are designed in such a way to be protective from mosquitoes, even though it can sickle cell anemia could cause a whole bunch of other stuff, especially infarctions of of the spleen. And, and lots of vascular issues. But the key is, is that in Africa, they, have, they evolved in such a way where their red blood cells sickle, so they're, they're, they are more protected from these types of mosquito-borne illnesses. Caucasians aren't. That's the reason why slavery started. Because when they started to it started to come to the come to the new world, they didn't want to import just slaves to do their work. Right? It was that they were in a in a swampy, warm environment, humid environment that had a lot of mosquitoes. So there was a high death toll. And so they start importing blacks into these regions to do the harvesting. That's what happened. So the idea of just the mosquito and the illnesses that it, it can cause or carry that can harm certain groups of humans, all right, changes the dynamics of history. Empires rise and fall because of pathogens, depending on the severity of the outbreak and where their growth cycle of the society was, All right? So the mosquito changed history. Trust me on this. You don't believe me? Look it up. Look up your history, all right? And so this, is, this should not be so profound. It's so profound to him, and it, I feel bad that it's happening to to a relative of his, but the but the the issue is is that the American people need to start to get educated of things that have been happening for the last four, five, six hundred years, or thousands of years. This I this this idea of just you know the smartphone and the and the laptops and the the iPads, it's making people stupid and they don't know their history. And by not knowing their history, they're, they're, they're going to fall into the same traps as, as, as past generations. So it's not acceptable. To, to, it, it truly isn't acceptable for someone to say, I didn't realize that such a little thing could cause such harm. Even though it was written in historical records for hundreds of years.
body that fast. The Proctor family's nightmare marking another alarming severe case of mosquito-borne viruses. Today, Wisconsin public health officials revealing two people there died this month from West Nile. The deaths in Wisconsin come as well. And another point that I'm making here, why do you think that the, even though they tried to colonize Africa, there wasn't a real colonization of Africa like the, like the New World or even parts of Asia? Caucasians couldn't colonize Africa because we don't have the genetics to be protected by the mosquito. That's why. You start getting into the bush area and the, 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 kill, the kill rate of Caucasians because of uh, uh, mosquito type illnesses is very high. So there is a there's a there's actually a pathogenic barrier that prevents colonialism. Nile cases hit 33 states across the country. Experts point to a hotter, more humid summer. Conditions just right for mosquitoes to thrive, spreading West Nile and a deadly virus called Triple E. Health officials in Massachusetts today announcing a second human case of eastern equine encephalitis in a woman in her 30s. Five states total now reporting cases. As the effects of mosquito-borne illnesses hit home for a growing number of families. I just keep telling him, look in my face. Is dad scared? And he goes, and that's how we get through. Are you scared? I'm scared. I'm scared. Beanie's family is inside that hospital praying for a full recovery. They've been told it's possible, but could take a year or more. Now take this First. new, take this newfound knowledge that I gave you, that the mosquito prevented true colonization of Africa, all right? The mosquito and the, the illnesses that it, it, it could give to Caucasians was what prevented full colonization of Africa. It's these illnesses from the mosquito that set in motion North America, and 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 Caribbean slavery because blacks have sickle cells. They have a genetic mutation that makes it more protective. That doesn't mean they can't get illness, but they have less illness, even though they have other issues with sickle cell. So now you have Bill Gates out there that wants to play around with mosquitoes. We don't have the genetics, the mutations to be protected from mosquitoes. So they're playing around with something and then all of a sudden a new chaotic thing happens that they didn't realize, or maybe they do realize and they want it to happen. But the bottom line is this, playing around with the mosquito for Caucasians is not a good idea. Team, stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app. No, I guarantee you, no one has told you that with the podcast that you listen to. And that's why you need to listen to my, my work, and I'll navigate you through this problem. All right? So we, I'm more focused, not so much on the mosquito, because it's West Nile can happen. It can be deadly. It's rare, but high impact. Rare, but high impact. All right? So you need to boost up your immune system. I told you a thousand times on how to do that. All right? One way to do it is to take the olive leaf extract. The olive leaf extract has a dual purpose here. It helps improve your immune system, but it also helps to improve your cardiovascular system. So it brings down inflammation, all right, that helps the immune system, and it's bringing down the LDL and bringing up your HDL levels. So the LDL is your bad cholesterol, bad, bad lipids, and your HDL is your good cholesterol, all right? So this is helping with your cholesterol. This is so what it's doing is, is it's helping your cardiovascular system and bringing down inflammation and helping the immune system. 
Take this every day so you can help boost up your immune system. All right. We have a lot of free radicals that are, that are taking place in our body because we're bombarded by chemicals, chemtrails, zeolite you're gonna need to be able to filter out the chemtrails, to filter out the forever chemicals, and to filter out this damn bug spray that they're doing for this West Nile and Triple E, all right? So go to the store and get the, the, the zeolite to detoxify your body. But these, these things are creating stress on our cells and creating free radicals. You need to neutralize those free radicals. I offer a product that is extremely potent, all right? Very, it's gonna be the best antioxidant that you're gonna be able to get. C60 soaks up free radicals, all right? It's very effective, and I have it in three different versions. I have it in an extra virgin olive oil, I have it in avocado oil, and I also have it in MCT coconut oil, all right? The reason why you wanna get the C60 is, is that it soaks up those free radicals. And by soaking up those free radicals, it's causing less damage to your cell now. If you have a lot of free radicals, your, your cells are gonna age faster and they're gonna be damaged, all right? The longer they have this damage and the more free radicals you have, you'll age quicker, your tissues won't work as well, and you got problems and your immune system is going to be worse and your mitochondria is going to be worse and your ATP, your energy source will go down. All right. This is the reason why people that are older don't have energy because their mitochondria sucks. Why? Because they have a bunch of free radicals. So what you do is you soak those up. All right. C60 is really, it, 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 it soaks up a lot of free radicals. All right. You take a teaspoon of this a day, every day, take a teaspoon of it every day. And it'll soak up those free radicals. Now, what will happen is, is that if you have a healthy lifestyle, you're going to start noticing compound effects day after day, week after week, month over month, year after year, that you're actually slowing down the aging process and your tissues are healing. All right. Compared to your control group that's not doing it and they're aging much faster. All right. So get the C60 in extra virgin olive oil. I have it in also avocado oil and in MCT coconut oil, all right? Take it every day, take a teaspoon of it a day, all right? It'll soak up those free radicals. And what will happen is, is that your mitochondrial health will improve and you'll have more energy on top of it. That way, with that energy, you can have a better immune system. If your cells, are, if your cells that are tied to the immune system are healthy, then you're gonna be, have a more robust immune system. All right, so it, 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 you win on the higher energy level, you you win by bringing down the stress in the cell, so it performs better, and you're winning on cells that are uh, immune cells, where if they're healthier, you're gonna have a more robust immune system. So it's really important to take C60 every day, all right? So by taking the C60 and you're exposed to these sprays, you're reducing the free radicals that these chemicals are creating. All right, so go to the store and get the C60, take a, tea, take a teaspoon of it every day, get it in a two ounce, a four ounce, or an eight ounce configuration. The higher the ounce configuration, there's a little bit of a discount um, if you calculate it based on price per ounce. So, so go to the store, get the extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, or the MCT coconut oil. All right, take it every day, it's gonna be important. Like I said, also you take the zeolite to help to bind to those chemicals that you're breathing in or touching because of the sprays and you can, and you can filter that out of your body. Now what we wanna do is this is uh, 13 hours ago, West Nile and it looks like Detroit, or at least Detroit news. So let's- Why do couples choose a sleep number smart bed? I need it a little cool. And I need it a lot of cool. We're both cool like that. Sleep number does that. Actively cool. Happening now at 5.30, we're following a potentially deadly virus that can sneak up on you every time you step out the door. Yeah, we've been telling you about the threat of mosquito-borne illnesses for weeks now, and now we're heading into a busy Labor Day weekend outside. Mosquitoes in Metro Detroit are carrying West Nile virus, and six people in Michigan have tested positive. Here's a breakdown of counties affected. And what's interesting about this is it's even in the UP. 
And the UP is a much cooler environment usually. Jackson, Livingston, and Macomb counties all testing positive for West Nile. 7 News Detroit reporter Christiana Ford is speaking with people, hearing lots of buzz about mosquito-borne illnesses right now. The risk of bites from infected mosquitoes is highest for people who work or play outdoors. But with some bug spray and layers, how concerned should people who live in Michigan be? I'm out here like five, five days a week. For Metro Detroit native Joshua, running is best enjoyed outdoors. I like the nature. I like the sound. Um, I used to run on a treadmill. It's just not the same. When it comes to bugs, particularly the summer mosquitoes. I do use bug spray. This holiday weekend, there will be a lot of Michiganders outdoors soaking up the last of summer. I have a I'm telling you, a lot of people are going to be using this chemical sprays on their body to prevent the bugs. That's going to be endocrine disruption. That's going to lower your immune system. That's going to create free radicals. I'm telling you, that stuff is poisonous, all right, especially in high concentrations. So you got to worry about the people. You got to be worried about individuals that are spraying because you may get secondary exposure. The people that are spraying it on themselves need to worry, obviously. And then the spraying by the municipalities. I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of toxins in your area because they're going to be doing the spraying and it's going to cause these problems in your body and weaken your immune system. And you're going into the cold season and guess what? You start getting sick. Scouts, I'll be at uh, one day at campground, so there'll probably be a lot of mosquitoes there. But with an increase in diseases spread by mosquitoes like West Nile virus, including at least six cases here in Michigan, according to the CDC. How concerned should we be? I am worried due to the high population of mosquitoes in um, the city as of right now. I think it's something that I don't think about. Of course I'd be concerned if I, I think if it directly impacted someone I know. Because it has impacted someone in Joshua's circle. Yeah, I know family members who have gotten it, so it's not something you want to get. Um, so I do try to protect myself. Dr. Matthew Sims, Director of Infectious Disease Research at Cornwall Health says while well, anyone can get the West Nile virus and other viruses spread by mosquitoes, they typically are fatal. People get bit by mosquitoes every day. Um, most of them don't come down with West Nile or you know, any of these other viruses. But when they do, you know, that's when there can be problems. Less than one in 100 Like I said, are... I can't say this enough. It's low probability, but very high impact on top of the chemical exposure from the sprays and the repellents. Carrying the West Nile virus and only one in 1,500 infections have caused death. Dr. So Sim's advice. Insect repellent, proper dress, avoid situations that, you know, are likely to put you in a large area of mosquito. You know, other things like getting rid of standing water around your house. I'm wearing vanilla extract and mosquito repellent because I've seen on TikTok that vanilla extract works. In downtown, Christiana Ford, 7 News, Detroit. Thank you, Christian. All right, so now let's, let me explain what the Even Better Bar does, all right, that will help you mitigate these problems. The Even Better Bar is a multi-purpose bar, all right? It's made from essential oils from the Himalayas. It's all natural, all right? I partnered up with Rainbow Herbals and we created these different bars, skincare and deodorants, all right? But the Even Better Bar is for skincare, all right? You can apply it on your skin every day and what will, what will happen is, is it will smooth your skin and uh, it'll create this kind of glow, it'll, it'll soften the skin, all right, if you use it regularly, all right? You can apply it on an abrasion, a cut, a minor burn but you can also apply it on a bug bite. The bug bite, when you get a mosquito bite, it's gonna itch and you're gonna keep on scratching and create a wound. You wanna stop that. You don't want to make it worse. So get the even better bar. Once you get a, once you get a mosquito bite, you take the even better bar and you rub it on the mosquito bite, the pain will go away in about 30 seconds. The itching will go away in 30 seconds, all right? So, and it'll help to heal the wound. All right, because of the essential oils that are in this bar. All right, so you're not making the wound, the, the, the bug bite or the, the mosquito bite worse. It will alleviate the itch. It'll heal the wound faster. All right. 
all right, so that's how you can kind of, you know, mitigate some of the, the after effects of the bite, all right? But if you're going to be outside, all right, and you potentially might get bit by a mosquito, you need to use repellent, but natural repellent, all right? Naturally made, natural ingredients that aren't toxic. If you're buying this off stuff that's toxic and, you know, and it, that's, I'll tell you, that, that's going to really make your immune system go down and your endocrine system is going to be out of whack. That's not good. All right. So please go to the store, get the even better bar. It's a multi-purpose bar. You should have this in your household because when you need it, you're going to wish you had it. All right. So please go to the store and get the even better bar. If you do get a mosquito bite, apply it on the mosquito bite to help heal it and stop that itch because you don't want to make it worse. All right. So please go to the store and get the, the even better bar. All right. Another thing that you should be doing is getting a couple tubes of this silver gel. The silver gel helps to neutralize pathogens. It also can help heal your skin. You can apply it on a, on a wound, a mosquito bite, or a cut, an abrasion, a minor burn. It'll help to heal it quicker. But the gel also neutralizes pathogens. So you can put it around your nose, around your mouth, around your eyes and ears, lightly coat your nostrils, right? To maintain a barrier from chemicals coming in, all right? So, so and then you're creating a barrier on your skin. So there's this added protection. So it neutralizes pathogens, but it also is creating a barrier and, and tr trying to reduce your exposure to some of these chemicals that are, are spraying around you, all right? It's not a perfect solution, but it is something that helps you mitigate some of your risks. On top of this is a multi-purpose product. So please go to the store, the-studio-rakefit.com and get the silver gel. You're gonna need it, trust me, especially during the cold season. And it's really important to neutralize pathogens in your oral cavity. All right. I sell the best toothpaste that you can buy. There's nobody that, that sells a better toothpaste than this. All right. Not Alex Jones, not Procter and Gamble, nobody. All right. So go to the store, the-studio-rakevic.com and get my toothpaste. Get a few tubes of this for your household. It's a very high quality toothpaste. It has no fluoride in it. Fluoride makes you stupid, so make sure no fluor you don't have any fluoride in your in your diet or in your in your water. Fluor fluorinated water makes people stupid. All right, so so it's so get take this toothpaste. It'll neutralize pathogens because there's a structural nano silver in it. It's going to reduce that gum inflammation, and by reducing the gum inflammation, you're going to maintain that. The gum line, if you look at people that are older that have irritation in their, their oral cavity, their gum line starts to recede. This prevents the recession of the, of the gum line. So you're, you're, you're maintaining the health of the gum, the gum line, all right? On top of that, it is whitening your teeth, freshening your breath, all right? It's neutralizing pathogens and good oral hygiene improves cardiovascular health, all right? How? Because these microplaques and these, these uh, pathogens and bacteria, they can get into your bloodstream, all right, if you have bad oral hygiene. And if it gets into your bloodstream, they can cause problems with your vascular system and your valves on your heart. So it's really important to have good oral hygiene, all right, on top of just neutralizing pathogens so you don't get sick, all right? So please go to the store and get the toothpaste that I offer. It is the highest quality toothpaste that you're going to be able to get. All right? Nobody, nobody sells a better toothpaste than I do. So please go to the store, the-studio-rakefit.com, and stop supporting Alex Jones. It's time that you support my channel because what I have to say is actually going to help you. Feeling Clarence and Clear is like <clears throat> right now is prime time for new cases of West Nile virus, which officials now say is responsible for three more deaths in the Midwest. 
health officials in Wisconsin confirmed two people have now died from West Nile virus. It, uh, one of them was in Wisconsin. We're also dealing with one in Illinois. Right now in Illinois, there's an 18 year old on the ventilator after contracting the virus. That young man's parents say symptoms started with a headache, dizziness, and vomiting. My son was a healthy, athletic individual, very outgoing and charismatic. And to see him lethargic and struggle to do simple, basic functions is hard. Severe cases and deaths from these diseases are rare. When it comes to West Nile, the U.S. sees 100 to 200 deaths per year. Experts recommend using insect repellent and wearing long sleeve shirts and pants at dusk and dawn. Mosquitoes tested positive for West Nile in Jefferson County last month. All right, that this was two hours ago. So the previous video showing the father and the son was still alive, if I remember right, it looks like he passed away, All right. if, if it's the same person. All right, well, and it's in a lot of states now. It's a lot of states. Okay, let's say, let's go to... Arkansas. According to the CDC, here in Arkansas, so far this year, two people have been infected with the West Nile virus. The Department of Health says most people do not know that they have the virus, but for some, it can be serious or even deadly. In the last probably five years, we've received anywhere from 10 to 20 um, reports per uh, per year. So it's not a, it's not a huge number. Um, the problem is, is that some people get very mild illness, um, but other people do get very sick and get hospitalized, and it can even cause um, death in rare um, instances. Dr. Laura Rothfeld with the Arkansas Department of Health says, now through October is the peak season for mosquitoes carrying the West Nile virus. While it's rare for people to get the disease, it's out there. And Rothfeld says the biggest threat is standing water near your home. It can be even in as little as a bottle cap that's turned upside down on the ground. It can be, um, you know, water that's captured into a tarp, you know, with it's raining this weekend and people have tarps or just, you know, stuff laying around in their yard that can collect that water. Then mosquitoes can actually breathe in, in that water as well. So you don't have to live near a creek or a stream or anything like that for, for them to have a breeding habitat. Oh, it comes to another dangerous mosquito-borne disease, eastern equine encephalitis. Rothfeld says Arkansas has not had a human case since 2013, but she says it's common in horses. And so far this year, one case has been reported down in Washita County. In Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News. All right, so that's <laughs> Arkansas. So please go to my store, the-studio-rigfit.com, and get the structural nano silver soaps. I have five different versions of this. It's a soap that has the structural nano silver. It's a high quality soap. It helps to neutralize pathogens. It's way better than Dove. So please go to my store, the-studio-reykjavik.com and get the, the silver soaps. This one is lemongrass. But I also have peppermint and charcoal and you know two or three others. So please go to my store, the-studio-reykjavik.com. I have a new product on my store. It's K2. This vitamin K2 is the MK7 molecule. That's important because it helps with bone health, the joint health, and also, if you follow what I've been telling you, it also will help with cardiovascular health. So for the cardiovascular health, you need to take the, the K2 vitamin that I have in my hand here and take it with my vitamin D3. Also take it with the C60 the turmeric and the ashwagandha, the omega-3, and if you if you want to have some extra um, benefit, cardiovascular benefit, also take the natto kinase. By doing that, you're going to reduce the chances of building new plaque, and you, over time, will be able to slowly shrink the plaque that you have there. There's no way to 100% take out plaque that's been built up, but you can take something and make it much less, all right? The way our arteries, especially if you look at the carotid artery, over time, people's arteries start to clog up, right? And that means the blood flow to the brain is less, or in other arteries, all right, it's just less, right? And by doing an ultrasound, you can measure the percentage of blockage. 
But as it's blocking, as, as the buildup of plaque starts to accumulate, your blood pressure is increasing too. So it, there's blood pressure increase and an accumulation of plaque. So by following this, by taking K2 and K7, which is what I sell, taking D3, taking C60, taking turmeric, ashwagandha, omega-3, and for an extra kick, taking the natto kinase, what that's going to do is, is it's going to be able to reduce the chances of building plaque. And over time, you're going to start seeing the plaque diminish to go down. By doing that, your blood pressure is going to go down. All right. So it's really important. It takes some time. All right. But it's important. The K2 D3 combo by themselves. All right. When you stack it, when you take calcium, either through a supplement or better yet by drinking milk, you are remodeling your bones and improving your joint health, especially if you are taking collagen too. All right. So K2 works with D3 and it's and it works with collagen, right? I sell the collagen too. That's how you build up better bone structure, better joint health, especially if you do a little bit of, of weight training. All right. And some aerobic, you know, put some, a little bit of stress on, on your body, not too much, but a little bit over time, you're building up the density of your bones. That's how you improve your bone health. To improve your cardiovascular health, you take the K2 MK7, you take the D3 that I have, all right? What that does is it's, it's bringing the calcium back into the bloodstream, all right? The C60 is reducing the oxid, the stress. It's reducing stress in the intima of your blood vessel and it's reducing oxidizing the, the oxidation of the LDL. LDL is bad cholesterol. You're bringing down the LDL by taking the natto kinase, and you're bringing down the LDL by taking the omega-3. You're increasing your HDL levels with omega-3, and you're increasing your HDL, HDL levels with natto kinase. All right, so that... And that HDL helps to soak up some of the bad cholesterol, all right? So you're reducing your bad cholesterol. You're reducing the oxidizing of the LDL. You're reducing the inflammation of the intima with the ashwagandha and the turmeric. And when you do this on a regular basis, you're going to actually improve your cardiovascular health, all right? Now, you can take my advice or not take my advice. It's up to you. But I just told you on how to stop cardiovascular disease, all right, and reverse it. But you got to put in the time and you got to put in the effort. So please go to my store, the-studio-reykjavik.com and get the, the K2 and follow what I, my advice, follow what I've been saying. In addition, the natto kinase I have on my store. Again, what does natto kinase do? Natto kinase breaks up clots because it's a fibroanalytic. Natto kinase also helps to, in higher doses, brings down LDL and brings up HDL levels. So it's helping control your cholesterol count. All right, that's important because you don't want to get on a statin because statins are really bad for you. All right, so go to my store, the-studio-reykjavik.com and get the natto kinase. And stack it like I told you. Because these two things with that, those other compounds that I told you about to help with cardiovascular health and the, and the, the, the plaque buildup, these work together. All right. What's going on in Connecticut 13 hours ago? Look at him, blissfully unaware. He has no idea that without deep observability in Gigamon, his hybrid cloud infrastructure is... Well, tonight, the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection has begun taking measures to prevent West Nile and a uh, Eastern Equine Encephalitis, or Triple E, from spreading in Eastern Connecticut. Both viruses have been detected in several towns this year. Uh, 61's Brooke Griffin is at Riverside Park in Hartford with more. 
Well, environmental leaders say that they have not actually yet detected any Tripoli cases in humans, specifically so far in Connecticut. But there are confirmed cases in humans in four surrounding states, including, unfortunately, one man who died in New Hampshire. Now, today, the Mosquito Management Program will spray in the Mount Misery area of the Pachong State Forest to target mosquitoes carrying both West Nile virus and Eastern Equine Encephalitis. Both viruses are showing up in mosquitoes in Eastern Connecticut already. They have been doing those tests. Officials are especially concerned about Triple E because it's deadly and there's no cure. So far, that virus has been found in five towns, Canterbury, Ludyard, North Stonington, Sterling, and Voluntown. A deer in Lisbon has also died from Tripoli earlier this month. Several state forest roads both close at 5 o'clock this afternoon, and they're not going to reopen until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's just while they're doing the spraying. Doctors say Tripoli is something to be taken seriously, and people should get checked out if they experience symptoms, including fever, headache, and drowsiness. A small percentage will go on to what we call the encephalitis component. And yes, unfortunately, once neurological symptoms develop, um, you know, um, but it can't do much. Somebody could probably, unfortunately, pass away within See? five days. And again, there is no vaccine currently. Low for probability, but high impact on top of poisoning your environment. So doctors and experts tell us you just have to take some sort of precautions. That could be wearing loose, light-colored clothing that pretty much covers your entire body. Maybe having a mosquito net around you if you're sleeping outside while you're camping for these last few weeks over the summer. Or even just making sure you have some bug spray on you. They say all of those are good options. In Hartford, Booker Finn, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Not once did they say in how the chemicals in the repellent could harm you. Not once. Not by the doctor, not by the stupid broad on Fox 61. Not once. This is why you need to pay attention to what I have to say. Because I'm telling you things that other people aren't telling you. Please go to my store, the-studio-reykjavik.com, and get ubiquinol. Ubiquinol is the active form for CoQ10. Ubiquinol helps to boost up your your energy levels, it's an antioxidant, and it helps with your neurons. So it's really important. This is something that you should be taking every day to help with your health and to boost up the, the metabolic processes for your cells, all right? Really important, and again, it's also good for your neurons. So please go to my store, the-studio-reykvik.com, and get the ubiquinol. Very important. It's the active form of CoQ10. High quality product. So go to my store, the-studio-rakepick.com. All right. What's going on in 12 hours ago in Midland County? School is back, and Dick's Sporting Goods has what you need to win your year. Check everything off your list for class, practice, game day. Our top story tonight, the first case of West Nile virus in Midland County has been reported to Midland Health Services. According to Health Services, the state confirming the case in a Midland County resident this week. You can get exposed to West Nile if you're bitten by a mosquito that has fed on infected birds. This disease can't be spread from person to person, and about 80% of people who are infected show no symptoms at all. Now, if you do get bitten, develop symptoms, those can include a headache, fever, aches, nausea, and fatigue. There are no medications or vaccines to treat West Nile, and for most symptomatic folks, you need to rest, drink fluids, and take over-the-counter pain meds to help. Now, people over the age of 50 and those with other health issues are at a higher risk of becoming seriously sick. Now, here are some ways to limit mosquito bites. Wear an EPA-registered bug spray, wear long sleeves and pants, use air conditioning, or keep those window screens intact at your home, and make sure to dump out any standing water that's around your home. All right. That's Midland. What's going on in McLennan County? The Waco McLennan County Public Health District 
confirming for us tonight that it's got its first case of West Nile virus in a person now this year. The person is an adult, adult male who hasn't traveled recently. Signs of West Nile virus include fever, body aches, headache, and rash. Symptoms can be worse for elderly patients. The health district is recommending people wear insect repellent when outside and clearing standing water areas where mosquitoes can breathe. Well, across the state, there's been 39 reported cases of West Nile virus so far this year, and at least two people have indeed died. The virus is spread by mosquitoes, and with the recent infection in McLennan County, 6 News reporter Cindy Deshawn is here to help families stay safe. Cindy? Chris and Lindsay, it's worth noting that around 80% of people will not develop an illness, and just one out of 150 people infected will develop a severe disease. Stephanie Alvey, Assistant Director of Public Health, tells me almost every state has... It's 75, not 80 percent. And it's one out of every 140, not one out of every 150. The virus for Texas mosquitoes can be active all the way through November and December. Depending on the amount of rain we get and how warm it stays, the risk can be higher. Symptoms are similar to the cold and flu. Sometimes your body will ache and you'll get a rash, but symptoms are typically mild, according to Alvi. She says very rarely will it turn into a neuroinvasive disease. That's when you'll start seeing cognitive issues. There's no treatment for this virus, but the question still lingers. Why are cases higher this year across the state? A lot of times it has to do with how many mosquitoes we're seeing um, because that's the primary transmission. And so they bite two or three hours and they bite birds that are infected. And then you get the mosquito population and the mosquitoes bite um, humans. And so um, depending on how much virus we're seeing in the bird population and then how active the mosquito season is. Now, Williamson County and Bell County have also confirmed some mosquito pools are testing positive for the West Nile virus. You can prevent mosquitoes from breeding on your property by empty standing water and making sure you have good mosquito repellent if you are spending time outside, guys. Yeah, Cindy, I edited your video. There were mosquitoes everywhere. Mm -hmm. Now you're eating everywhere. Yeah. 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 Never do you say that the repellent is bad for you. That's, that's wonderful. Go to my store, the-studio-rakevic.com and get the NAD+. Plus. Why? Because this helps with your energy levels. This helps to boost up the energy levels. It also helps to repair DNA from, from the stress that a cell gets bombarded with. There's DNA damage, right? So NAD plus helps to repair that DNA damage. In addition, this, is, this helps with neural function, all right? So you're protecting your neurons. You should be taking NAD plus every day, all right? This is, this is a, something that anti-agers do all the time. The longevity experts are, are been doing all the time. So please go to the store and get the NAD plus. What's also important here is, is that because of the toxins that, that are in the repellent or the toxins that they're spraying in your environment or the PFAS, these forever chemicals in your food and in your water and even in your clothing, all right, they do damage to your cells by creating reactive oxygen species. So you need to take the C60 to soak up those free radicals, right? You take the C60, right? But you also take the NAD plus to help to repair the DNA damage. So you should be going to my store, the-studio-rakevic.com and repair your DNA damage from the damn chemicals and th that you're surrounded by, especially through this new spraying that they're doing. So go to my store and get the NAD plus because it helps to boost up your immune system. It, it helps to boost up your energy level. It helps to protect your neurons. And, and it also helps to fix DNA, to repair the DNA. Now, in immune cells that have damage to their DNA, by taking NAD plus for those immune cells, you're going to improve your immune system. So this is a, there's a dual benefit to taking these. A, a lot of the products I have are dual benefit and they are synergistic with stacking, all right? But NAD plus is important to bring up that energy level and repair those, the, the DNA damage. If you have immune cells that have DNA damage that need to be repaired, 
NAD plus will help that. Neural health is also important. NAD plus is going to help with that. So please go to the store and get the NAD plus. Get the NAD plus to fix the to repair the DNA, get the zeolite to get the chemicals out of your system, get the C60 to be able to bring down those free radicals, get the ubiquinol to help to protect your neurons. The, NA, the NAD plus also helps to protect your neurons for neural health. And also, in AC, NAC, I've been taking all day, every day, all right? And what this does is it brings up your glutathione levels. The glutathione levels need to be elevated to B8 because it's a strong antioxidant and it's synergistic with the C60, all right? The C60 soaks up those free radicals using a, a, a 60 carbon molecule, all right? The NAC helps to create higher levels of glutathione, and glutathione helps to bring down your free radicals. NAC also helps to detoxify your body, all right? And it helps to improve mental health, all right? So we're going to be going through stressful times, and people are going to be, you know, worried and depressed or have anxiety. Take NAC, it will help to calm that, that, that down. It'll help to improve mental health. NAC helps to bring up those glutathione levels so you have a, a, another strong antioxidant, really important, and it helps to detoxify your body, all right? I have given you what you need to do to go to the store and to mitigate this fucking problem that we have because of West Nile and Triple E. Please go to my store, the-studio-reykjavik.com. Take my advice. Be proactive, be prepared. You have everything that you need to move forward. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.